I'm here with Knights first year head coach Gary Puccio, who comes to FDU after head coaching stints at Manhattan and Briarcliff, where he won two USCAA national titles. Now, coach, you've been here since August, and it's been a long six months, and it's finally game week. How does it finally feel that you're preparing for a game this weekend? I think we're kind of excited that we're finally going to get a chance to uh, get out on the field and hopefully show what we've been working on for the last six months. Well, what improvements have you seen in the ball club since you took over in August? I think the guys are playing at a very solid defensive level. They're seeming to be buy into some of the things we're trying to teach and emphasize. And, and right now I kind of think they're looking pretty good. What do you feel are the strengths and weaknesses of the ball club? Well, obviously we have limited numbers. That's one of the weaknesses. We have uh, 20 players on the team and not a lot of arms, and that's obviously something long-term that might come back to haunt us before the season's over. But uh, for the most part, offensively, I, th I think they're a very solid ball club, and defensively, I think they're a very solid ball club. So, uh, so I guess it's going to come down to how well our pitching holds up. Now, you have a history of winning and turning around programs, and you've come into a program that's ex has experienced losing here the past few seasons. What, what's the culture like that you've uh, brought in and have the players bought into it? What I'm trying to teach them is basically that we have to play at a certain standard and a certain level of play that's conducive to being successful. And not to worry so much about wins and losses at the beginning and worry instead about establishing how we play, how we hustle, what we do in certain circumstances or situations, and hopefully long term that will end up becoming wins. How has the transition for you been since you become the head coach back in August? It's obviously whenever you're new there's always uh, things to learn and things to know and things to get used to. It, it has progressed. I, uh, I don't know how much progression we've made yet. Obviously this weekend will start to tell us that. What is your overall coaching philosophy? I honestly believe, I call it level of play. That's one of my big things is that we talk about level of play and, and that no team should ever out hustle us. There's no reason for us to be out hustled. And I guess my coaching philosophy is basically depends on the situation of a game. I mean, there's going to be games where we're going to sit back looking for big hits, and there's going to be other games where we're going to be bunting and running and doing the things we need to do to be successful. I think you have to key into what your players' strengths and weaknesses are and allow that to control what I'm doing. Now, going into this weekend, you're playing three games at Maryland Eastern Shore, obviously to open up the season. What is your projected starting lineup and pitching rotation? Uh, Chris Theodore will open the season for us. He is, uh, I think he's pitched something like 49 times in relief here, and this is his first college start. And he just has the kind of mentality that I really, really believe in, and I'm very confident that he's going to give me a quality outing. Uh, we're going to pitch game two, Nick Melchiori, and game three we're going to pitch Mike Elias, and they are both quality pitchers as well. As for the starting lineup, our uh, lineup for opening day will be Ryan Kresge leading off at shortstop. Eric Pollock will be in left field hitting second. Brian Dillon, the captain, will be in center field. He'll hit third. DJ Robinson will hit fourth and play first base. Stephen LaForge will be in right field hitting fifth. Eric Anderson will be the designated hitter and he'll hit sixth. Mike Eliason will be at third base hitting seventh. JT Sherber will be catching and hitting eighth. And Matt Holzman will be playing second base and batting ninth. Well, is there any other information you would like the fans to know about for this upcoming season? You're going to be looking at a couple of players who, even though FDU as a team has not done that well in the last few years, you got a couple of players here who are some of the all-time best players here and are going to be setting some records as individuals. Obviously, Stephen LaForge last year set a new record for hits in a season. Brian Dillon is somewhere around 30 hits away from becoming FDU's all-time hit leader, and he should also end up FDU's all-time games played leader. And 
Spencer Kelly is three saves away from being our all-time save leader here. So there's a couple of individuals who have done very well in their careers despite the fact that the team hasn't succeeded as a whole. One of the things I've tried to emphasize to those players as well as the others is that the team success is the more important thing, but the individual accolades are nice as well. Coach, thanks for uh, taking the time to talk, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.